Okay, so the good news is that there's a free built-in screen recorder in Windows 11. To open it, use this shortcut key, Windows Shift R. You'll see a little toolbar appears up here with a little video recorder button active. So all you do is you hold down your left mouse button and drag over the area of the screen that you want to record. So it could be part of the screen or the whole of the screen. And up here, you can choose whether you want to include audio. So by default, my microphone is muted. So if I wanted to unmute it, I'd click here. And then I can choose which microphone I want to use. Also, this button allows you to choose whether you want to include system audio. So if you click on it and you see a cross through it, it's muted, otherwise it's active. Then you click on the start button and it's basically going to record everything within that area of the screen that you've selected. And once you're finished, just click on this stop button, stop recording. And this opens the snipping tool. Now the video's automatically saved. And if you want to see which folder it's saved in, just click on these three little dots here and select open screen recording folder. So this will be your video. Now, one thing you can do with the snipping tool is trim the video. So if you click up here on this trim button, you can trim the beginning and the end of the video. And then if you click on apply, it's automatically saved over the saved copy of your video. Now the video, including any changes you've made to it with the trim tool, is automatically placed on your clipboard. So for example, if I went to PowerPoint and I use Control V, there's the video and down here I can play it. Now there are some snipping tool settings you need to be aware of. So if you click on this button here, so the ones we're interested in are under this heading screen recording, automatically copy changes. So edits to your screen recording are automatically copied to your clipboard. So that's active, automatically save original screen recordings. And you can see the folder that it is automatically saving to, and you can change that if you want to include microphone input by default when a screen recorder starts. So that's off, but you could turn it on. Include system audio by default when screen recorder starts. So that's on by default, but again, you could change it. Okay, so we go back. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.